Um, well, I just got home and I got my Mefferts order in, and my camera was set up in the same spot it was when I left last week from that blind solve video. So I figured I'd just do a quick little thing showing off the cubes I got. Um, I'm sure most people have heard of all the fuss about the Mefferts 4x4s. Um, somebody made a video in which they had a Mefferts 4x4, no one really knew too much about them before, and uh, so they were really good. Ever since then, everyone's been buying them up. Um, so yeah, I bought the white and black Mefferts 4x4s. Um, quite, quite nice, I can see why people like them so much. Um, I, I like them a lot, and I don't have them any 4x4s, so it's nice to have. I also got the black DIY um, 5x5, and it, I'm very impressed with it so far. Um, I haven't solved it at all yet, but it turns out of the box um, fantastically, and um, I might have to take it apart and lube it a little bit, but um, it comes with the center caps off so you can change the tension and stuff all you want. Um, it came turning actually quite nicely. Um, I, I could see me using this for speed cubing, except uh, it's actually very heavy. Which for me is no big deal, because I've got big hands, and um, I play piano and stuff, so heavy is not a big deal for me. But for some other people, that might be a problem. Um, I also got this um, beach ball, which is, I think, a skewb. I'm actually quite sure it's a skewb. Um, but, you know, just four colors. So all you're doing is solving four colors, trying to group them up. And uh, I forgot how to scull a skewb, so I, I don't know how to fix this. Although, with the simple color scheme, I'm sure you can solve it just with trial and error. But uh, this is pretty cool. It's bigger than I thought it would be. Um, it's about the same size as a baseball. Net block UFO. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, I, bu I bought this just because it was $5. And I figured, well, I'm ordering. Might as well grab some of this other stuff I don't have. Um, this is quite fun to play with, except for one thing. is that um, It feels very... Um, it's, it's difficult to turn some of the pieces, and it feels fragile, which is not a good thing um, for a new puzzle. I'm sure that once it's broken, it'll turn awesome, but um, for now, I feel like uh, I'm going to break it just by playing with it. But like I said, I'm sure that, the, that it's going to be just fine. Uh, Mefferts Pure Minx. Now, I've been told not to buy a Mefferts Pure Minx, um, because they're not as good as the other ones. That's why I did order two of the other ones as well. They're not here yet, but um, I like this a lot. I like the um, I like the color scheme. I have been able to solve it without a tutorial. I heard that um, pretty much everyone can solve this without a tutorial, and I figured, well, wouldn't it be embarrassing if I couldn't? But I figured it out within a couple minutes. So this is nice to have. I've never had a pyramid before, so this is actually pretty exciting and um, fun to solve. And I really love Mefford's color scheme. So that's like the, you know the bright colors and they have this weird um, textured kind of sticker. Lastly, I have this puzzle can sort of thing. Um, what it, it, I think it's sort of like the Babylon Towers, but not as many pieces. So we have, what, we have six rows, I think. Um, six columns of four, and basically they spin independently of one another. And it's a tile game, we have this empty spot, and we just basically gotta get all the matching tiles together. Um, the one thing I don't like about it is it takes a long time to scramble. Puzzles that take a long time to scramble are annoying to me. Anyways, I thought I'd give you guys the um, honor of seeing my first Mefferts 4x4 solve. Just because, well, you know, everyone's always wondering uh, what people's opinion on the Mefferts 4x4 is, so I'll give you my opinion right now. Well, that's no good. Tile came off. Now it's got to be noted that I haven't broken this in at all. I just got it, I just pulled it out of the package a minute ago, and um, don't not buy it because this tile fell off, I mean just grab some super glue, I'm sure that's just a fluke, um, I haven't heard anyone else complaining about tiles, so, 
so don't worry about that. Okay. Okay, um, two ten forty four, and uh, not not a great solve, but you know, pretty decent. Um, I'm actually quite excited to see how this is going to turn out once it's uh, broken in a bit. Um, this tile thing's a bit troubling, but you know, like I said, it's just like the um, the Q for you Mega Minx is really good, but you know the tiles are plastic, and they will tend to break off. But you know, just have a thing of super glue around; it'll be just fine. Um, do I recommend this? Yes, I do. It's actually quite nice. But, uh, you know, I'm up and down, so. Uh, yeah, ni very nice cube. Um, the black one, very nice as well. It doesn't turn quite as great out of the box, but that's okay. Um, yeah, hope you uh, enjoyed this little review, I guess. See ya.